Can we have you on stage, please? Hearty, hearty welcome once again. So first question I want to ask you is, have you seen RRR? As much as I have been waiting to see it, we haven't been able to see it because we've been promoting Abhay uh, season three. Pushpa was the last that we saw and really enjoyed. And it's so interesting that, you know, uh, it feels really good. And I really hope that we find an audience in Hyderabad also uh, that enjoy the show as much as the Hindi watching audience does. So, Ken, have you seen RRR? Uh, like, like Kunal said, um, we've all been very, very busy with the post. As you can see, it got delayed. It's still delayed. But last night, an assistant of mine called me at 12 o'clock at night, woke me up. Sir, you, what a film. What a film. You have to watch it. It is interval. It's 11.30 or 12 o'clock at night, and you have to watch it in IMAX 3D. Uh, the director, Rajamali sir, has taken it to another level. So you must watch it. So I'm waiting to get free from all this and then start catching up on my movies. How is the feeling of you being in Hyderabad? Uh, it's always lovely to be here. I've been here before also. Uh, we shot a lot of films here as a kid and also as an adult. Uh, you know, all the Goldmar franchise, we're always here shooting for that. Uh, and it's always lovely to be here. Uh, just had some spicy Andhra food <laughs> that I always look forward to. Uh, but uh, like I said, I mean, I have, I have fond memories of Hyderabad and I'm very happy every time that I got an opportunity to come here. Yes, sir. So like Bahubali, uh, before Bahubali was shot, Rajmali sir know that it is going to be in two parts. So in the same way, you also knew that Abhay is going to be in so many parts? Not at all. Uh, first of all, in web series, it works a little differently. Um, uh, the best way to judge if a series is doing well, if uh, the best way to know if a series is doing well is if um, the platform, the Z5 here in this case, makes another season or another season. So we are in the third season now, so I think uh, Abe is doing well wherever it's, wherever people are watching it. They're really liking it. There are people who are connecting with the show. And um, so that's why there's a demand for another series and another. And hopefully there will be one more after this. So after this uh, uh, event, Telugu people might be coming to know about Abhay more now. And they might be watching 1 and 2 and 3 also. So what is the difference in Abhay 1, Abhay 2 and Abhay 3? So the beauty of the way we made Abhay 3 is if you've seen 1 and 2, very good. But if you haven't seen 1 and 2, there's not a problem because whatever references we've got of season 1 and 2, we've explained it in a simple way. We've explained it also. So hopefully you'll watch 3 first and then go back and watch 1 and 2. But ideally, since you still have time, Abhi, uh, it's uh, the 8th when we're releasing. So you still have time. Get onto the Z5 app and watch 1 and 2. So you'll know how it flows into three. People like me love uh, binge watching. So if I start one web series, I will uh, come to an end. So that, that in the same way, probably, Abhay 1 se shuru karke, Abhay 3 tak, probably everyone will cover everything. I hope so. So any questions? Hi, Kunal. Good evening. See, you have been recognized with Amar Rahi Pyarke on Raja Hindustani. And I remember you very well. And coming to this movie and earlier movies, I think this is the first movie you are doing thriller based, right? Yes, sir. it's a show, sir. This is the show, first yeah. time I did something in the web platform. Exactly. And when Kemu narrated the script, what was the triggering point uh, you want to do, make me part of this film? Uh, so, I Actually, for me, it was very interesting because uh, in the past few years before I did Abhay, I was doing a lot of comedies. And that's how people were also enjoying me as an actor. And I was also very 
comfortable in that zone. Uh, so first thing that attracted me was I'd never played a cop before this. Uh, so this was the first time I was going to play a police officer. And also I liked the whole world of crime that it was going to be in. And I also knew that uh, this is a medium where you get an opportunity to not just play a part for that two hour duration of a film. But if it does well, then you can do multiple seasons and play the same character and get an opportunity to, you know, go through the different layers or nuances of what this character is about, what he can do more or less. So all of those things put together and obviously when I knew that Ken was going to be a part of it, I've always been a fan of his work and I've known him for a very long time. We've been friends and I really wanted to work with him. So I was very excited and I'm very uh, happy to say that it was a change for me from comedy to this and for Ken. He had never done something like this and I was, I remember when the first season aired and I was like, you're a really dark person. You're very good at this. You should do a lot more of this. And I think he and I are the only two people who managed to be the constant in Abhay. You know, we were the previous season one, season two, season three. A lot of actors changed, a lot of a crew changed, a lot of technicians changed, and the creative team changed. But we've managed to stay together, and I think because of that, Abhay has managed to stay the same over the three seasons. See, if I'm right, you're a cousin of Amir Khan, right? Cousin, no, sir. I'm not a relative of Amir Khan. No? I'm not related to him. Anymore. Okay. Oh, Saif Ali Khan, sorry. Yeah. So have you ever met Amir Khan after that, after doing your childhood movies with him, you have been interacting course. with him? We've, we've, of course, we've met a couple of times actually, uh, socially, but we haven't worked together after that. Sir, this question is for you. Uh, why Kunal for this show? What did you notice in Kunal? Well, so he can overcome the cop role. <laughs> so like like Kunal said, uh, in when we are going into the web series, uh, the thing is, people expect something new, something different. In fact, we have to make something new and something different because if you have to stand any chance competition with big budget feature films, you have to be fresh and new. <coughs> so the first thing that we try to do in fresh and new is casting. Um, I think, like, like Kunal said, uh, the producers have done very good casting both uh, of, the, of the lead role as well as uh, good casting of the director. So even me, I, I mean, I come from a background of romance and music uh, and getting into a dark thriller. And Kunal comes a background from a background of uh, comedy and, you know, lots of other genres. And uh, so it's interesting. So that's why it makes it, the, the audience then wants to click on that button and see what, what, what is the show all about. Kunal, you have been very comfortable in uh, portraying the comedy roles earlier. And how comfortable doing this uh, thriller uh, role, how to portray? To be honest, I was very comfortable doing this because I think I started with a film like Kalyug and then did a film like Traffic Signal. In fact, at that point, nobody thought that I could do comedies. And that's why nobody was offering me comedies. And in fact, when I did do a comedy in Dhol for the first time, a lot of people said, oh, you're doing so well as a solo hero. Why are you doing films which are multi-starters? And I, it didn't make sense to me. I said, because maybe this way, the, the directors and the makers and everybody will feel comfortable that they don't have to risk it on me. And then, you know, some, sometimes you get typecasted and then from one comedy to the other comedy and like I got really uh, accepted very well in that zone. So I ended up doing a lot more comedies. But it was very uh, refreshing for me to come and step into something like Abhay. And uh, to be honest, I mean, I wasn't uncomfortable at all and it was, uh, it was something that I was looking forward to doing. Sir, uh, tell us more about the research process coming to this season three. Well, uh, so there's been a lot of involvement. Uh, the show has evolved a lot from season one to season two. The original concept was to do real stories. In fact, season one and uh, most of season two had uh, cases which were real. So every case that you saw actually happened. So they were actually killers like this in this country and who were caught. Uh, but then after that, the show in season two, we slightly evolved. And, uh, and if you've seen season two, Ram Kapoor's character was fictitious. So we merged fiction villain and real villains. And now we've gone in season three, uh, we've taken it a step further. Uh, Mr. Vijay Raz has come on board. Uh, which has been one of the USPs, uh, again, in the casting department uh, of Abhay as a show, where the villains have been very interestingly cast. 
you know. So even in season two, there was uh, Ram Kapoor and Chunky Pandey. In fact, Chunky Pandey won a lot of awards uh, uh, for his role in Abhay. So after that, we've now moved to season three and uh, Vijay Raz has come in. And uh, even as a villain, we've taken the villain to a little now, a little supernatural, darker space. So it's very, very interesting. So as far as research is concerned, while season one and two had a lot of research, season two and three have a lot more creativity. Let me put it that way. So is there any particular reason for uh, dubbing only in Telugu and Tamil? That I, that I think a question, that's a question Z5 should answer. Okay. Be it is available in other languages also. It's, uh, mm. I, I remember watching uh, it in Marathi as well. I think it's available in Bengali also. I think uh, what is different now is that it's premiering at the same time in these three languages. The other languages will be available over the, some period of time. Huh? Uh, Kunal, uh, do you think uh, language is a barrier? I, I do, you know, uh, you, when you dub it, it's uh, easier to understand. Otherwise, I feel as much as I would love to act in every language because I think, you know, stories are so peculiar to the area that you're talking about. I just feel that language becomes a barrier only when you don't understand it. Because if I don't understand what I'm saying, and if I just memorize it, I won't be able to punctuate it correctly. And I won't be able to add the right emotion uh, behind that. But I feel that's where cinema and the technology that we have is such a beautiful thing that I can watch something that is not in my language and still understand it. We used to do it earlier still with you know reading subtitles. But that I would find very distracting because you're breaking eye contact with the actor and reading. But when it's dubbed, it's simpler to follow. And I think uh, a lot of credit also goes to the right dubbing artists to you know deliver that emotion with the same uh, passion and, you know, uh, the craft that an actor has done with. So, uh, hence, I would say that even though language is a barrier to a certain extent, cinema is the place where it's kind of trying to not change uh, that, that, but evolve in a way so that people all over the world understand the content that's being made somewhere else. So, did you watch any, uh, uh, any of the episode in Telugu or Tamil? Well, if you... And uh, what's the feeling like uh, when somebody, uh, some other people are dubbing your voice and... Uh, I was just telling him that when I was, uh, we saw the, the trailer in Tamil and Telugu a few days back also. And I said, I only wish I had this bass because I really like the bass that th this voice has. Uh, tell us more about the designing of your character from the season one to season three. So uh, I was very lucky that, uh, you know, the makers, the producers and also the platform, they gave me a complete free hand when it came to, uh, you know, deciding what this character would A, look like and B, how he would behave. They uh, gave me a lot of free hand there. So I also uh, took it up as a responsibility uh, because I feel that this is also a medium where, you know, when you do a film, you get critical feedback and all of that, but you can't do anything with that because it's already done and you move on. But whereas here, if you do get commissioned to do season two, then you can take all of that feedback and work on it, which we did as a show in general. But I was very happy because a lot of validation for the fact that I played Abhay correctly came from that feedback. And that's the one thing that never needed to be changed because I also asked the platform and people at Z5 saying that, hey, listen, what do they like about this guy and what do they do not like about this guy? And they said, we've only had positive feedback on him. So I was very happy that you know, that worked out because I did kind of imagine the look. He has this kind of a hairstyle that I kind of wanted to do. Uh, the fact that he wears a kada and, and the, the kind of, uh, you know, clothes also he wears because I said he would be somebody who would have a really boring taste in clothes. He would wear just basic colors because he doesn't have a woman in his life. Uh, so all of the, those small things, I'm not sure if all of that comes through, but for me as an actor, that's, uh, uh, you know, gratifying to uh, involve in my process. Hi, Kunal. Hi. Our Kazal asked about the Tribular movie. Just I want to know, you saw the Kashmir files or not? You, because he belongs to Kashmir Pandit's family person. So I, so I haven't, in the last, actually last 25 to 30 days, we've just been working on Abhay and promoting it. Because of that, I've not been able to see so many films 
you know, and Kashmir Files is one of the most important films that I, I do really want to see. I do want to see RRR. I also want to see the last Batman that came out. But like I said, after the 8th, Gangubai also. Is, we haven't been able to see any of this because uh, we've just been busy with promoting this and uh, it's, it's an important show for us. So once this comes out on the 8th, we'll have some free time and definitely want to catch up on all of those films. So uh, as an actor, I have seen you like in so many films and they're all characters like uh, you might like, you might love, you fell in love. But what sort of emotional bonding you have with this Abai? Because you're working three seasons, right? right. Like a film is completely different and uh, now it's... I'm very happy you asked that question because it is uh, different with Abai because I feel that I am most emotionally invested in this character because, like, you know, not just three seasons, but even when you shoot for one season, it's a longer process and it's eight episodes versus one, two or two and a half hour film. So I feel like I'm emotionally invested in this person and also because, like I said, I got an opportunity to mold who this person is going to be. I feel that even though he's a fictitious character, I know him very well. And even though he's completely opposite of who I am as a person, you know, and I can say that with Ken also because both of us have a point of view on what this character will do. So, you know, like I said, a lot of people change. So if they would come and say, in this scene, Abhay does this, we've been able to defend it to say that, no, Abhay will not do that. Uh, and Abhay will not wear something like this. And Abhay will not smile or joke or say a line like this because we feel like we know this person. So, uh, like I said, I'm most emotionally invested in this character. No, you know, we've, we've struck such a beautiful relationship when it comes to this because <laughs> even when the prep of this is happening, I remember I was shooting in Ladakh for something and I was speaking to him and I was like, how is this script shaping up? He said, listen, you got Abhay, so I'm not getting involved in that. So you hear Abhay's part, I'm making sure everything else is fine because I think we've never had a difference of opinion when it came to Abhay. We've always had discussions about everything else. Uh, and it's only because this is a character that both he and I have worked with over the last three years. Kunalji, hi. Hi. You did have one role in uh, Angare, Angare, right? Uh, yes. With Nag sir. Yes. So many years back. Nag sir was also in Zakm, and I had uh, a lot more work with Nag sir in uh, mm. because Angare I played Akshay's younger version, yeah, so yeah, I never yeah. got to work with Nag sir. Mm. But in uh, uh, Zakm, he played my father, so I actually got an opportunity. How to do work you with see him. this coincidence after so many years? He is yeah. still as good looking as he was and he's still doing such fabulous work. Uh, uh, and I did happen to meet him uh, when I was shooting for Golmal uh, a couple of years back, mm. and, I, and I went and said hi to him. And like I said, he's, uh, you know, these, I've been lucky enough to work with these superstars who were superstars when I was young, whether it was an Amir Khan who I did my first film with, or an Ajay Devgan, and in that fact, even Chiranjeevi sir, who I did meet as a kid when I was shooting here for some other things, and Bhatsa was doing a film with him. And it's amazing to see Nag sir, Jiranjivi sir, Amir, Ajay sir, all of these guys still being and doing exactly what they did and being on top of their game. And I think they inspire all of us to kind of work harder and do better. Again, there is a one more question. You are dealing with this character from the past two seasons. How these stories shocking you? Like it is a crime stories and thrilling stories, right? The first one, like uh, you know, Ken said, it was based on true stories and true events that happened. They were really shocking and also it was a bit disturbing eventually it especially in the first episode to shoot some of those knowing fully well that this actually happened uh, so you know and also as an actor you're trying to draw emotions from something but the fact that this was real also messed with my head a little bit I'm very happy that uh, we were at least shooting in Lucknow so you know I didn't have to go back home because I remember that the first three days when we were shooting certain gruesome crimes there it was a bit heavy for me to you know on the drive back and to come back and you know be able to laugh and smile and get back to reality but uh, but soon you realize that we are actors and we are actually just doing make believe stuff uh, so it became easier to switch on and switch off kunal ji so what's the difference did you found in between movies and doing web series and which one you feel comfort and going forward how frequent you will be uh, you'll be showing interest in making movies or uh, being a part of web series. You know, honestly, they're pretty much the same when it comes to the working of it because uh, scale-wise, if you're doing a big film or you're doing a big web show, it's the same. Whether you're doing a smaller film, because the equipment used and the way of producing it and the kind of technicians that are working are at par. Uh, so the only difference is with the experience and the journey of playing a character and because it 
has the potential of being repetitive in you know multiple seasons so that that is the only difference that i felt of course it is something that i would want to explore in the future also but it's also a little more time consuming so there is lesser that you can do you can't do i mean well as an actor maybe you can do three or four films in a year i don't think you can do three or four web shows in a year so you have to pick and choose and uh, at least now you have the leisure of uh, picking up characters or stories that intrigue you more and they can be in any uh, you know mode of whether it's in a theater or on a web platform any dream role i, I don't really i've never been somebody who's had a certain kind of a dream role i've always been open to uh listening to new things and I, i and i feel that i've i've been very happy i've but i've never had this preset notion of saying like this is the kind of stuff that i really really want to do kunal ji recently john abraham uh, st- gives you one statement i'm an a hindi actor i don't want to do any telugu movies like this statement uh, john abraham sir chepper uh, so what is your note on that comment if any telugu director gives you one option to you if you want to act or not look i i i have not heard this statement so i don't want to comment on that but as far as i go i like i said i already answered that question as much as i want to read, i would love to you know be doing that i don't know if i'll be able to act as well as i do in hindi because it's a language that i understand that's where the language is a barrier because a i would be you know memorizing my lines and not knowing what every single word means and i don't know if i'll be able to emote in that way but honestly as an audience if as a kid i sat in a theater and i saw mr bachchan you know be the angry young man that was when i was like i want to be that guy in the same way when i see something like a bahubali or even a pushpa or like you know we see the trailers of rrr of course as an audience you're like i really want to do that i wish i knew that language well enough to do justice to it uh, i just don't know if i'll be able to do justice to it uh, so that's my comment on that uh, can gosh ji uh, we very much loved temple attack movie can we expect uh, any real incident movies in that line so uh, <laughs> for the last i think one year uh, with z5 they have not been letting me go <laughs> so i've been doing abhay one abhay 2 state of siege 2 abhay 3 now they have come to me state of siege 3 uh, the script is being worked on um, they've just sent it to me in fact it's in my email inbox i have to still read it <laughs> so yeah that that is also yes another show uh, which is close to my heart because i my father was in the Uh, in the, in the navy so you know doing anything with our armed forces uh, is is always an honor and uh, you know especially working with the nsg was great really good fun so can you have like a film in a film there will be a, a 60 to 80 scenes right like uh, for a film but for a web series how tough it is uh, to write a web series you know we were just discussing this uh so even he asked you was asking me you know in this episode and that so i even though i'm shooting a web series for me it's a 340 minute film you know so i treat it like that because i my background is films so i for me it's a one really long film yes you got to make sure that the episode endings are good so that the audience immediately goes to the next episode and stays and doesn't leave the The, it doesn't leave the show. He basically made a film at eight intervals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's yes, an yeah. eight interval feature film. Thank you, thank you, Kunal, and thank, thank you. Thank you. So wonderful questions about movies and uh, Abhay, but I personally want to know uh, Kunal. I keep following you and uh, Soha like on on Instagram all your pictures are so cute and so very lovable but you don't find time to watch movies how do you spend time with your family and how do you balance your family time Luckily my family doesn't live in a theater <laughs> I have to go back home and they 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 and that's why there's always time uh, for family uh, 
and I'm very happy and blessed uh, to be surrounded with uh, a family because I and my, my daughter because the family is incomplete without her and I, and I really believe that in our lives as actors uh, you know acting and the profession of the film industry is, is a very small part of that uh, unfortunately sometimes we mentally make that our world uh, but if you can understand that you know your world and your family is your reality and you invest there you will always uh, you know have something to fall back on or you will always have people who support you and love you for the right reasons and I, I do uh, cherish that and I do that's why I invest a lot more time in family uh, than I do in anything else uh, and that's probably the reason why you see us uh, so much Yes, and I personally love uh, Kalyu to the core, and in fact, I love all the songs. And from the, the connect from there still continues, so I hope new audience will connect with Abhay, and the connect continues in Telugu film industry. To all the very best to Kunal, and all the very best Thank can. You. Thank you so much, everyone. That's about it. From April 8th, Abhay 3 will be available on Z5. Abhay 1 and 2 kuda chudandi Z5 app lo and it will be easy for us to continue with uh, Abhay 3. Thank you so much. Thank you.